All right, welcome into Study Ball. And as you can see, I'm getting ready for a high school football game. And so uh, just thinking about a lot of things, thinking about my young high school quarterbacks. And although at the high school level, we don't teach a lot about hot reads against pressure. We kind of put it on the coordinator to, to call the right play so he can have an option to get the ball out of his hands quickly. But I think about that at the high school level and say, I want to teach my young guys what that means, to, to have a hot, to have a plan, to understand where your pressure issues are and get the ball out of your hands. And even though we don't deal with it a lot at the high school level, I want to teach my guys that because I think it's vital moving forward. So today, a lot of times in study ball, we'll take a team and we'll break down what a team does, or sometimes we'll take a concept. Today, I'm going to look at the hot concept and I'm going to look at the highest level. And to me, always have to have a hot plan. You get to that level, you can't just depend on beating it with uh, a particular throw down the field or beating it with your legs. Have a hot plan so you can, be, you can create positive plays on every single snap. Even if it's three yards, I'll take that over a sack or I'll take that over having to run around and try to make a play or making a mistake. And so it's so vital and you get to the highest level and I see so many guys that don't have a hot plan or so many plays that don't have a hot answer for their quarterback and it just puts you in harm's way because the higher levels you get to the more they're going to pressure you and you got to know what you're going to do when you get pressure or you're never going to be able to succeed consistently at the nfl level so here we go starting out with the go okay and understanding hot issues understanding your protections okay so you see all this consternation right here between tom and the offensive line who are we going to what's our protection what are we doing okay boom Boom, boom, boom. Now this left tackle's put in a bind because normally he's blocking this outside guy. Linebacker steps up, so now he has to do what we call an offensive line squeeze. So if this guy comes, he's got to squeeze it, make sure it's the furthest guy from the quarterback coming free. In this particular case, he squeezes, they pop out, defensive end comes free. Tom's got to be ready for that. Now he watches, see, this guy starts to walk down, so he's probably thinking to himself, oh, Tackle's going to go out and get this guy. He had already committed to stepping down, so you got to have a plan. you got to be ready for that. Now he's hot. He's going to the right guy, but he wasn't quite ready for it. So now instead of putting a good ball here and getting five, six, seven yards, here we are on the fringe of the red zone, and it becomes a low pass. Maybe it could have been caught anyways, but you can see Tom was caught off a little bit off guard here with the hot. He's got to react to it. Leads to a negative play on third down. Okay. Protection, understanding what you're doing. Now, I'm a guy that when I've got one, two, three receivers to one side, I like to make sure my hot is, is to the three receiver side because there's a lot more options there. So in other words, I would want my offensive line to slide backside. So it takes somebody coming from the front side to create my hot, not somebody coming from the backside. Because now if you go one, two, three, four, and five, I've got a hot here. And I've got a hot here, and that's a lot to put on any quarterback, but specifically a young quarterback. So you'll see in this situation, for whatever reason, okay, they're sliding to this front side. So that's going to free this backside guy up. And I get it. The way you look at it here is you look at it and you say, okay, one of these guys, one of these guys has to cover the back. So we'll go to the other five guys and we'll be good to go. Well, in this case, they bring both guys backside. Young quarterback, you gotta know where your hot is. Here's your hot out the backside off of the backside pressure. Put it on him, you've got a positive play there. Okay, even if you wanna throw it to front, front side. Sometimes you can do that. Pressure coming here, I know the pressure's coming. I can get it out right here really quickly, but it's gotta come out knowing the pressure. In this case, he's late, doesn't see it, doesn't understand it's coming from the backside. Boom, gets hit and Lucky that the ball didn't go up in the air and create a touchdown for the defense, okay? Miami, love to run this blitz. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. You got six, only five blockers. So you gotta have a plan. Gotta know what you're doing when you get this, okay? There it is right there. Where's your quick throw? Down the field, down the field, down the field, down the field. This is my one quick throw right here. Josh Allen, you gotta know. You gotta understand first and foremost, this is what Miami does. Gotta understand they're all stacked here. Slide back side, guy on the end of the line of scrimmage is my hot. Get the ball out, it's right in front of you. Gotta see it, gotta get it out. Yes, it's third and long. So sometimes you, 
as a quarterback, you can't say, oh, I got to throw it past the sticks to get a first down. Got to throw it right here. And this guy's got to do the work from here and get you the first down because you don't have the luxury of standing in there. Now, Josh does a great job of making that guy miss, but he gets to this late and you see getting to this late, what's it do? This guy is breaking on it the whole time. So you get to it late, same guy, you throw it to him, defender's right there to make the tackle. Okay, we're gonna bring pressure from the strong side. This is gonna create our hot. Okay, and so again, different options here for Big Ben on what he wants to do. Boom, there's your hot. There it is, quick throw right into pressure. A lot of times we say, see pressure, attack pressure. Get your throw out right there, okay? Sometimes on a hot, what you can do is you can pass the quick throw for the deep throw. He's gonna pass it up for the go route because he's got press one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. Okay, I don't recommend it because Already not a high percentage throw. Then when you've got to rush it, when a guy's coming in your face, becomes a lower percentage throw. But I understand, let's try to make them pay throwing the go route. But here's the one that I would like in that situation. Just get it out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. He's one-on-one. -on -one. Let him make a guy miss. And you see, bad throw, right? Because you got a guy in your face, you're falling away. Just take the easy hop right there. Have a plan right off the bat instead of having to just throw it up. Okay, here we go again. Okay, we're gonna have five blockers here. One, two, three, four, five, six. They got six guys there. Know where your hot is. Know which way your offensive line is sliding. Okay, so some way, shape, or form here. They slide in most of the offensive line that way, so we probably should have got a squeeze right there if everybody else is going that direction. Never want to leave A and B gaps free for your quarterback. But this is the case, okay? Gotta know if you're Lamar, that's your hot guy, okay? I can live with that if that's your hot guy. There's your hot throw, take it. Again, down the field, down the field, down the field. Know where your quick throw is. Get the ball out to him. Don't depend on your legs. Yes, I know you got special legs, but don't depend on it. Oh, here's your other option. We got a quick out over here, so if you don't like that quick throw right there, get your feet set, turn around, and be ready to hit that on time and beat the pressure that way. Know where your quick throws are instead of trying to do this and just have to retaliate, sorry, retreat, and figure out what the throw is. And again, just easy opportunity missed right off the bat because you gotta know what your quick throw is and you gotta have the timing to be able to react instead of just trying to play after the snap. Never gonna be a good scenario after the snap. Here we go again, we got pressure coming from the front side. We got it, there's your hop. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Have a plan, know what you're doing. Now, these guys are special, boom. I'm gonna make that guy miss. I'm gonna create a play off of the hot. Nice job in doing that, but why make it so hard? Throw it right there, put it on him right there. Frustrate three, these guys so they don't have to chase after you. Get the ball, let him make a play, make the game easy, have a blitz plan in every scenario. Okay, coordinators always have a built-in blitz throw for your quarterback. So here's a situation, we're walking down. Okay, so I'm hot. If that guy comes, only got five blockers, they bring all six. I'm hot, there it is, he's coming. Actually ends up coming from the backside. And here's the thing, we're going here. Maybe this was the hot throw. He's matched up here, vertical, vertical. What is your hot throw? Not a great front side hot throw here, but got a shallow coming backside. So sometimes your best throw is backside. Buy some time here and lay it out the shallow. Be ready to hit the shallow as it comes across. Now Josh tries to get there late, bad throw right here, but understand where your hot throw is understand and, and again offensive line we want to know too which side okay so since the offensive line sliding this way i don't know if that's right or not but if they are and this guy's blitzing here and he makes his hot backside our eyes should be to our backside hot anyways if we squeeze this all the way down and our hot became front side we need to have some sort of front side hot here and our eyes should be front side. So always want to know as a quarterback where the offensive line is going. Where's my hot throw by a little time? There's your hot throw. Just lay it out to them and go a lot harder when it's coming from the backside. But with that, let's watch. This is exactly what Aaron Rodgers does right here. They're going to bring the front side pressure. There's my hot front side. Don't really have a hot situation. So the shallows come in here. Aaron does a good job 
of understanding that, knowing he's hot, look at him by time, gets his eyes to the backside, knows that this is really his only hot right here. So he's gonna come here to his hot coming off the backside, really well done, other than doesn't make a great throw here as he's dropping back, and, it, and it's tough because this guy's coming all the way across. You wanna make sure he gets across all these bodies and he gets over here, and you're trying to buy time, buy time, buy time, and make the throw, but just settle in, get a little more on it, and you see. You get a little more on it and you get that, we got a great play out this backside. So I love his thinking, just wasn't able to finish it with the throw right here. All right, now we're gonna look at some positive hot plays. Okay, so the Cowboys are gonna have four strong out this side. So only five guys blocking once again, boom, 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 boom. So they bring pressure off this side. I gotta be hot here as a quarterback, okay? There's the pressure, actually comes from inside. Smith does a good job squeezing it. Outside guy has the hot, he's free. Nice job by Dak, holding the guy, seeing it, seeing it, seeing it, getting the ball out to his guy. And now we're rolling and we're running. Good throw, good reaction, beating that pressure with the throw. Have a plan. All right, back to Kyler Murray. We saw earlier he missed one. He beat it with his legs. This time, now he's sharp. Now they're coming here. Okay, we got a guy free right here. Boom, there's his hot, just like he had it on the last play. Sees it, recognizes it, gets the ball out, something that he's doing much better this year than he's done in the past. And we'll take that. I mean, second down, we'll take eight yards. We're in, sec we're in third and two because he recognizes it, hits the quick throw, and lets his playmaker make a play. Really, really well done. All right, Josh Allen, saw him miss one earlier. Okay, so now they're gonna come here, but we actually are going an all-out blitz here, so they're coming both sides. He knows he's got a possible hot on this side. That's the easier throw for him. Really well done. Draw those guys to him. Nice job flipping it up over the top to his guy and letting him make a play. And look at that. Short throw. Have an answer against pressure. Short throw. Get it to your playmakers. What do they do? He goes for 16 yards on a short throw because he knew what he was doing, knew where his hot throw was, made a good throw after the snap and gets it to his playmakers. All right, young guy, Mac Jones here. Really well done here. So he does a great job because pressure's coming. He's looking at this quick out over here to start. Doesn't like it because that guy goes there, able to get his head back to the other side as the pressure's coming. So all this is as the pressure's coming. As the pressure's coming, knows where the quick throws are here to here. So he peeks that because he was going to beat it with the quick out on the backside. That's great. Oops. That guy buzzed under it. Great job being able to see backside, then get turned back to the front side, know where his hot options are, get turned before Shaq Barrett can get there. Boom, get the ball out of his hands. Good positive play there by Mac Jones. All right, I love that stuff. To me, when I was playing, that was one of the things that I was always harping on in my own preparation is know where your hots are. Know what gives you an issue. Know where your offensive line is going. Make sure you're communicating the right things to the offensive line so you know exactly where your hots are and what your answers are when they do bring a hot uh, situation, when they bring a hot pressure on you. Get the ball out of your hands. I just believe it's a difference maker as you get to the higher levels and you see it right there, the guys that are good at it, the guys that understand, it turns to huge positive plays for them. When you don't know and you try to make it up after the snap, it leads to negative plays. Those are difference-making plays, what I call game-changing plays in the course of any 60-minute battle with an opponent in that cat and mouse between offense and defense. So coordinators, always talk to your quarterbacks about the hot plan. Quarterbacks, always have a hot plan. Always understand where your issues are to protect the football and protect you and protect your offense from those negative plays.